Mike Canuda here from Peter Smith Cadillac and we're going to look at today the CT5 which has been totally redesigned. It's on the rear wheel drive architecture and it is a beauty. Very, very attractive car. You'll also notice from the back end, very distinctive Cadillac logo, dual exhaust, is this number right here. Cadillac is putting the uh, torque numbers on the back trunk lids of a lot of their vehicles. So this one's got 350 foot-pounds of torque. Lots of get up and go. It is peppy. I did drive it the other day. So now that we've had an overview of the outside, let's take a look at the inside. Okay, now we're uh, behind the driver's position in the uh, Cadillac CT5. Uh, the first thing that draws your eyes will be to the left is gonna be your uh, two-person personalization feature on the door. Uh, so you can personalize your radio stations, mirror positions, seat positions, and so on. You can even save it in a profile in the 10-inch screen we'll get to in a little bit. Uh, we have our mirrors and then a touchpad which will allow you to adjust them. Our power windows for our front and rear. Just down below that we're going to have our power trunk release which is just a push button situation. We've got an electric parking brake so no more manual foot application it is an electric parking brake. Okay we're going to move to the steering wheel now and it's a traditional steering wheel. We've got our cruise control on the left hand side with our heated steering wheel and front collision mitigation. So front collision mitigation, uh, we can set the uh, gaps. So we've got three different gap positions, far, medium, and close. You can choose whatever suits your driving habits. On the left-hand side, we've got the cancel button and answer button for the in-vehicle communication systems. So on the right-hand side, we've got the side that you're probably gonna use the most Radio presets, once you get them in the radio, you'll be able to toggle up and down, the volume up and down, so as you can see, nice and easy to get to. The center area here is going to work your driver information window. So your driver information window has a left and a right arrow and a center roll button. Your left and right arrows will toggle you through information, music, navigation, phone, and your profile so you can get in there and change your units from English to metric so if you're heading stateside you can choose the amount of info pages the display speed warning it's their information envelopes you can't hurt anything you get in there and you can really customize it so if we left arrow over to the information button this is where you're going to get a lot of the common items so anywhere from fuel economy you can keep track of your best score tire pressure monitor oil life percentage fuel range in the tank. We've got your trip one and trip two. Left arrow over, take you back to the start again and you can customize whatever you want inside. On the left hand side we've got our auto light control with our uh, selector button. So you're just going to leave it in the auto position in most cases. Uh, on the right hand side we've got our wipers which are a three position. So high, low and auto which is intermittent. And then you're going to use the intermittent dials on the right hand side. Moving over to the center console, you'll see a brand new 10 inch screen. You're gonna see all the icons that are available and there are a lot, everything from audio, phone, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, even personalization. So in your settings, you can get in and personalize vehicle and systems and also add apps. That's a big thing these days that you can add apps from your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and they'll image right up on your screen. Some of the items that you're going to get into from your homepage, you'll be able to select in three different areas, either from the screen or down below in these other icons. This is uh, the dual climate control system, so driver and passenger can control either of their temperatures, or you can sync them with the auto. And you can adjust your volume from this button. You can also mute it from this button as well, as well as your steering wheel. So as we come down to the uh, climate control and some other features, nice clean lines, uh, 
things are very easy to see. You can turn the system on and off. You can turn the auto button on to keep the cabin consistent. All your different venting options are on the left as well. And then moving down, we've got the heated seat cushions. So it's not only just on the seat, it's also on the seat back, as you can see. And in uh, warmer weather, you can use the ventilated seats as well. Uh, parking sensors are activated. We've got small little parking sensors in the bumpers that are going to alert you in case uh, someone is coming up on you or uh, you're getting close to an object. Uh, emergency four-way flashers are in the center and then the passenger controls for heated and ventilated seats. Moving down, we've got our mode buttons. We've got four different, so as we adjust it, my mode is going to be up top. You've got touring, sport, and snow and ice. So again, you can toggle through and find the uh, drive mode that best suits your driving habits. We've got the auto stop button, and that corresponds with your tachometer. And this vehicle has the capability, when you're stopped and your foot is on the brake, the engine will actually shut down. It's gonna save you some fuel. If that makes you feel uncomfortable, the on-off button on the center console can disable that feature. And as you can see, I've just disabled it. To the right of it will be the phone charging pad. Now, depending on the type of phone that you have, you can just lay your phone in on the pad and you'll notice on your icon up on the 10 inch screen, you'll see a green charging lightning bolt, I guess if you want to call it that, to the shifter. So you're going to see it's a little bit different here. You'll see the different driving positions from reverse, neutral. We've got park, drive, and then M for manual, and we'll get to that in a minute. But to bring yourself into the different positions, there's a button that you can't really see on the left-hand side that you have to squeeze. I'm going to do it in reverse. So we're going to squeeze in that button, and we're going to pull it down, and you'll see drive light up. I'm going to bring it up now into neutral and then into reverse all the way up. You'll see now that P is now illuminated for park and is gone from your shifter. That's just to give you a heads up that if you want to park it, you're just going to push that in. You hear a little tone and then it indicates that you're now in park. Easy that is. We'll put it back into park. As we move our way down, this new system that we've got just below the uh, shifter is going to make your life easier so you don't have to reach forward onto the center console. We've got a little button up here that's going to change your volume. You can toggle between your stations with the forward and back buttons. Navigation on from here as well. And once you get to know where these things are, you don't have to take your eyes off the road. Your hands kind of know where they're going. And then if you want radio, you can just move it back on over to the left-hand side. So as we go down below, we've also got a back button which is which is kind of interesting because let's say you get to a certain area you want to go back a couple of pages you don't have to go back to home so you can access your phone from here as well it is bluetooth capable and the nfc one touch pairing system is available on the ct5 in the center console we've got our cup holders that are hidden away you'll see the brushed aluminum and the french stitching all up on the center console there is an access button on the inside that's going to lift up which will again show a very deep and cavernous center console with usb plugins sd card plugins lightning charge and a regular power plug in here as well so this is the brand new ct5 i'm really excited about this vehicle i had a chance to drive it this afternoon and its spirited capabilities certainly caught my attention so cadillac's going in the right uh, direction uh, please reach out to us thank you for watching the video if there's anything more that i can do mike canuda or any one of our sales consultants here at peter smith cadillac i hope you'll reach out to us Peter Smith GM, Highway 62 North, Belleville.